<laughs> but you were giving ten and like ten nine twenty something. My producer told me so. Oh how? <laughs> I, I know I couldn't believe. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, t- uh, time is money. You understand? Yeah. Th- that's why I always tell my manager: like, if you waste my time, you owe me money because I don't want to waste time that much. So if I know that I'm supposed to be here on time, I'm always on time. That's how I am, though. Mm-hmm. That's how I've mm-hmm. been from day mm-hmm. one. Mm-hmm. Charlie, so. big ups to you. I think Thank that you. is a high level of discipline. Mm. Few artists exhibit that. Mm. Uh, they want to show you they are big. So yeah, you gave him ten though, <laughs> but he'll come at ten thirty for you to be waiting. Call it, Charlie. Where you got? Where you got? Where you got? <laughs> but that is. Can we say discipline has been? part of your growth yeah i mean uh, without discipline you can't be punctual you can't do things on time you can't do a lot of things as planned so this to be disciplined is also uh, a factor that you should consider to be part of your craft if you're an artist you get me yeah. so i don't joke with me and, and, and at what point did you get this mindset this um understanding that as an artist i need to be very disciplined even if it has to do with just uh what some people will not consider as more important um since i started um doing music since i started recording because um i feel like if you dedicate your life to do something you have to go fully for it there's nothing like a small this is small so you have to do it this way this i, I go fully on anything that i do mm. as pass on anything that i do mm, yeah mm. how did you get the brand name el chemano who actually introduced it um el chemano okay so i was inspired by this movie i was watching um and then it, it was inspired by my life i felt like god has blessed me the level where the el chairman means the chairman is a spanish word mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. the chairman a chairman is somebody who is obviously like a boss level you get me so i feel like i'm on that boss level god has given me that title so i, I felt like yo i have to upgrade the level and then give myself a higher title i deserve it mm. so, that's so, what so it a boss level in mm. which of the spheres in the music sphere or in the business sphere in life I mean i can't complain i'm i'm happy every day my wife is happy my my child is happy my friends my team everybody's winning we are all happy so yeah that's 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 what inspired that, that. Mm. now you are a leader of a sect as in your team your management team you are the leader as a matter of fact um what do you instill in them so that their discipline their work will also contribute to the success of amg medical well when it comes to me my team i'm not a leader nobody mm. be leader for my team inside everybody be leader my pa can make a rule we'll think about it and then if it makes sense we implement it you get me so i can't say i'm the boss of the team or everybody be a boss like be boss on your own you understand because at the end of the day um i know that maybe you're working at this radio station but who do fear you you command some works in that so you're still a boss you get me so me i know if you talk say i'll be the leader in my team because everybody they make decisions on my team mm. yeah and again on your relationship with um Chris Waddle. Mm. I know few people, the moment they also get their feet, life start getting better for them. Whoever mm. held them up, they start showing attitude to him. Mm. But you have been very loyal, very humble to Chris Waddle all the time. How do you do it? <laughs> I mean, it, it, I think it's just natural. That's how it's supposed to be, you get me? Because when you keep your loyalty prime, um, it helps you in life. It keeps it, it keeps elevating you from wherever you are, you understand? Because Waddle is the, the person who put me on and he's the reason why I'm here right now. So why should I turn my back on him or why should I disrespect him? Because maybe I feel like, yeah, today my name has reached wherever I wanted to reach and it's still climbing higher. I still got to thank him because without him, I wouldn't be here right now. Mm. Yeah. So w- what is his role now in your music business? What is Chris Waddell's role in your music business now? Waddell is my godfather. I mean, I t- he still he still listens to my music and tells me, yo, I feel like you should drop this song. He still, I mean, um, he still advises me a lot, tells me what to do. If I'm moving in a different direction, I'm not supposed to go. He talks to me and then makes sure he directs me wh- uh, like really well. You get me? <laughs> Yeah. so is there something like a label where he is the leader of that you are a part of or now there is some understanding different understanding there i mean amg amg is a family thing you understand and then of course he's the founder he's the boss of amg he gave me so um obviously he put me on and he put other people on as well mm-hmm. so um it's just like uh it's just like blood like more like a a, a religion you get me like we we are just the they, they they stick to the movement you get me mm-hmm. there's no contract or nothing i can't say why they'll sign me for like two years or like five years there's no contract it's just verbal it's just love and loyalty that's it mm-hmm. yeah. so now you are still more or less like working with him as a label boss of a sort yes but it is not on paper uh-uh. the understanding the religion that's how you guys are going yes please I see 
what is your AMG? So many meanings have been put. I be see a man for girls. I be see their baby. I be see what is your understanding of the AMG, medical? Um, okay, so AMG be Arab money gang. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Arab money gang. You know, say the Arab people, their money be long. You understand? <laughs> so yeah. That's the meaning of AMG for those who don't know. AMG mm. is Arab money game. I think there has been other meanings out there. Like what? Uh, Chris Wado, I remember, put out another one. Maybe I seem, I seem to have forgotten. I uh, seem to have forgotten, but I'll surely remember that. He said, I'm out for girls. No, 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 I'm out for, I'm out for girls. Anointed men of God. Anointed <laughs> men of God. Um, let me so let me t I mean, <laughs> yeah, yeah, listen, yeah. That when one. It, when it, you go V, you go V. Connect them to anything where you they feel like. <laughs> that one too, we know, but. You understand because at the end of the day, ocean we hear power. We are anointed men of God as well. Because you are going to point it right, and a boy is not more AMG. They've been so tired. I'm out for girls. You know me, I'm out for girls. See, start be able to say in the air. Well, like oh, okay. So every meaning has a connotation agenda. somewhere. Thank you. And to who say what you be girl that like medical? What you be girl that? Oh, men kai. Me refine your memory, bro. And say who are the corporate there? I'm not here. I'm out for girls. No, we are here for who are they? Ah, uh, no, yeah. So we we'll, we'll lose now. Um, you won't say MG boy. We know again now. They are sorry. <laughs> 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 and they're sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good feeling. But recently, still on AMG though. Mm. Recently, Showboy spoke to me from his base in the USA, mm. and he was not happy with you guys. He thinks you guys have rejected him to his fate, and mm. that he feels that the support that you are supposed to even give to him, you Chris Waddell, mm. Shatawale, and Co. He feels offended. I don't know what you would say in response to what he said on this platform. Um. I didn't listen to the interview, but if I answer the things where he talk, you know, prior to the things where he talk, you know, I would talk to maybe he um, he's right in, in his own way. Once we ask, you know, be near my based on how the person as an individual they see the thing for an angle. Maybe I do when they near me. What I say, but I mean, obviously, I don't have any problem with Showboy. I don't think Wado does either. So, um, I mean, he's doing his thing wherever he is. He's still strong. I just pray that they free him soon so he comes home. That's it. Mm. But know? is there still a connection between you guys and him? Um, I mean, anybody will support AMG from day one. Whether you started supporting and later you left or you're still there, you're still family. So, I mean, he's still he's he's also out there doing his thing you get me um he's not in a good position right now like he did position where i know go even like make my worst enemies have go that's jail behind mm -hmm. bars so mm -hmm. i pray they free him soon so he comes home so everything will be well so in the camp is he still considered a part of the amg team now i mean um show boy be like like brother you understand because well i don't know the joke with show boy you get me me i know we even now yeah i can say yeah because i mean they still communicate sometimes okay. and then me i can say i don't have any problems with show, like problem with showboy because mm -hmm. me and showboy we don't even like vibe deep and like we didn't really talk that much like those days even when he was like not in the can right now you get me but um i think yeah he's still he's still a part of amg i can say because he one way or the other he has also contributed one or two things into the camp so mm. I, mean, I can't reject that mm. yeah. another thing about medical that so many people are sometimes surprised sometimes happy about is mm. your relationship with shatawale mm. uh sometimes people know oh, shatawale you start friendship with him the next day you guys are doing facebook and instagram fight mm. but in your case you've been with him and it keeps getting better mm. what have you been doing right um I don't know, but I think with Wally, he only say, I'll be loyal to you. Make you know, mess with my loyalty. That's it. And then when you mess with it, I tell you my mind. If I feel say we're going to be cool, then we're going to be cool again. That's it. That'd be our idea. As you say, that'd be the type of person to be. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, at, in a way, that'd be how me too are there. You understand? But just say, me, my own be say, if me and you get some misunderstanding, it, we go feel be cool, but it will be hard for us to be connected like we used to. Mm. you get me so i mm. feel like he you know the joke with loyalty so if you mess that loyalty up that's it and then he goes off on you mm. talking about loyalty a gentleman came here crying to you for forgiveness um that was the name of the gentleman once again <laughs> richie rhymes mm. he came here begging for forgiveness he's he has admitted that mm. he's offended you in so many ways mm. And that he prays for your forgiveness at every point in time. Today mm. you are here on this yeah. same platform. What yeah. do you tell him, medical? 
I mean, I, I I can open my Instagram DM so you check the conversation between Richie Rhymes and I. Um, it was very it was very cool, very org- pure organic. I mean, I have nothing against him or I don't hold any old um, grudges against him or something. So, in me, I don't have any problem with him. So we are cool. I have no problems with nobody. That's what I keep saying. I keep saying from day one. Somebody will feel this somewhere and feel like they've got issues with me, but obviously, man's doing this thing. I ain't got no issues with nobody. Mm. So yeah, me and Rich. I'm cool. sure one of his wishes or prayers is to get closer to your circles once again. And I don't know if that that word then I tell you say if me and you used to connect and then you you splitted the gap, we go feel be cool, but it go be hard to, you know it's sanamit here it, it, it won't sit right with my spirit that's how i am but we cool i don't have no problems with him mm-hmm. but him being part of my circle i don't think that's gonna work out mm, that yeah. one he's lost it forever i mean i can't say he's lost it forever because obviously um we, we all be human beings so behind the china mm. but my spirit then said right if you could right mm. yeah, mm. yeah now we also wonder shatawale mm. doesn't lack but medical is always giving him buying phones for him doing this for him why that as well ah some early morning shatter come my house come dash me ten thousand cities whatever that one and then it's not just that shatter gives me a lot of links links uh he links me to most of uh, some shows and some deals and stuff so he helps me a lot as well mm-hmm. yeah so you don't even consider it as he having more than you or you having more than it's just about give and take giving because i know the matter because like Uncle Abadi, you see what Epona Chateau say Epona is my own. Still, I told you say what is it? Given that way, you know the matter say you get past this one, this one get past you. I mean, of course, it's nice to give. It's 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 cool. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Looking at Shatawale, his way of life and your friendship with him, mm. there is something that you don't do. Maybe today we would ask why. Okay. Earlier, whilst we were having our discussion, Kobiche mm. was thinking about why medical doesn't get involved in some conversations. Mm-hmm. For instance, industry conversation that you would expect a medical is not allowed, very influential. Why is he not putting in a word or two so that the industry also take it up for discussion? You don't mm. like doing that. You don't do that. Is mm. there any reason for that? Um, I mean, I, I always think carefully before I jump into certain issues because at the end of the day, sometimes when you talk about stuff they don't they're not even taking serious people they play and then take it as a joke you get me so sometimes i don't feel like there's a necessity to involve myself in certain conversations mm. yeah. even when it involves the industry that you survive on i mean um i can talk about a few things uh, involving the industry as well but sometimes i just feel like no nah, i shouldn't i should i shouldn't even just talk about it maybe things are going to get better yeah mm, because medica is okay or what no it's not even a, i'm not okay I, I always keep saying like me i'm broke i'm grinding i'm hey. I'm, <laughs> I'm telling you i'll be broke i they grind i they look for money I'm, so i'm not okay at all mm. i know they give small money chance mm. you understand mm. so but obviously i would like make the industry um get better so we go feel make more money for the industry and then you know take Ghana music to places mm, yeah but if you say you are broke DJ sticker will feel very sad today because oh sticker uh, <laughs> sticker why <laughs> but sticker do it no no recently he brought a story to me but I said me see medica see as I checked the medica has ordered about something hundred and fifty thousand dollars chain and you see you said this and you are telling him that you are broke how, I mean, do, you, how do you want him to take it I mean I mean <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I'm I'm always grinding every day because I'm see you've got obviously you've got some amount of money in your account, no? Exactly. Yeah, I mean, but you're still working every day mm-hmm. because mm-hmm. you want to keep stacking up. Mm-hmm. That's that's what I'm trying to talk about. Mm-hmm. Like I'm still grinding. I need more money to do a lot of things. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So really, did you order that chain for how much? Three hundred and fifty thousand. No, it was I think I think sixty two k. Sixty two k. Okay, I'm okay. That the convention was in um, cities, I guess. Sixty two k dollars. Yeah. Have you gotten the chain yet? Yeah, it's on my neck. Oh, that's the one you you wearing. Yeah. Uh, please, can you t- remove your shirt a little bit? Just open it up a little bit so yeah. we see it. Oh wow! All oh, the cameras are. So this is sixty two k dollars. Yeah. What is in it? Won't you die when you wear it? <laughs> right. <laughs> I mean, think uh, when it comes to when it comes to when it comes to diamonds and stuff. Um, there's oh it, it, the value never decreases. You understand? So maybe when i need some money i can take this back and then get my money back with, mm. with extra money and, and what was the inspiration to get this chain at this amount so i mean i buy a lot of things where i don't even post them online you get me um sometimes it be the few you get me 
why why somebody go buy iphone 12 or iphone 11 or iphone whatever it's because of the fuel you want to have it when you have it your comfort your confidence rises or it makes you happy you get me this whatever makes you happy just go for it yeah, so it. so why did you put this special one online because like you said maybe you bought so many expensive things yeah i, I was bored sometimes when i'm bored i post stuff and later i regret posting it mm. yeah mm. sometimes i'm bored so do you regret on this one yeah a bit because a lot of people um like some family members and all felt like i'm wasting money they don't get the fact that later it's, it's a it's a diamond that i can later get it sold you get me Mm. Uh, okay. they, they feel it's too expensive for yeah. you to spend money on yeah so what does it mean next time you wouldn't show some of these things online i mean i'm still gonna show but i man i am number seven man go for bts i say yeah man you know and it would be a no create it be a props it would be a prop to the balance of the cross cover baby and a prop if you're not kind of crying okay so how often do you do such props when i'm shooting music videos sometimes okay yeah okay yeah, so, so most, most of the things we see you holding or having in music videos most of them are props of course if you see me if you see models twerking on me that's not and that's a fellow you can't see me on a regular day yeah, where models twerking yeah, on yeah, me yeah, yeah, no, no, so now move for no, no you uh-huh. can't see that on a normal day yeah, yeah, props. Yeah, but props. the chain there it's not a prop that is what you are wearing yeah James Kweku, have you seen it? 62k dollars. James Kweku doesn't have the 1k dollar one. Hard, hard, hard. <laughs> now, Medical, I think some few weeks ago, you tweeted that mm. in January, you were not going to give your fans music. Yeah. And some of us were confused that why is the baby making you so busy so you don't get <laughs> studio time to record or something? <laughs> why, why, why that tweet? Um, I feel like um, I had to give the, I mean, the that that time frame like some space to work more on myself and some other things that i'm yet to unleash you get me because um i feel like i've dropped too many songs in the system and then I'm, my voice is everywhere so i wanted to go for a break for um 31 days that that was the plan yeah that's it but you said you don't stop working you are always grinding so yeah. why a music break i mean when i don't drop the song it doesn't mean i'm not recording you get me i've still uh, i still have loads of work out there um in the studio i've got loads of music videos i'm yet to drop mm. so i was working when i wasn't dropping songs that's what i'm trying to say mm. Mm. yeah so is the break officially over now yes yeah, officially over mm. so what is about to happen next now that you've taken your 31 day break out of music um on the 5th of february i'm dropping my first official single in the year 2021 titled mm. yesu oh mm-hmm. yummy yeah yummy sorry it is titled yummy yeah and that is uh, just i think this friday yes please um is medical alone on the song or you have another voice on it oh it's just me mm-hmm. it was produced by mog mm-hmm. it, it was shot by um kt mm. yeah, has something MOG. changed with medical and his lyrics when it comes to rap el chaman will be different person el chaman will not be the same as medical mm-hmm. that'll be what, one of, like that'll be some of the things people don't know I'm a whole different person. You get me? I went through a different trance and then I came as El Chemano. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm a different artist. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? Because yesterday, whilst we, I think we were going to Akosomo whilst we were coming, mm. they said now medical is raw on lyrics when it comes to rap. Like some things you go raw, you say it and people are loving it. Yeah. That, I think that's how it's supposed to be. Okay. So that part is the El Chemano. Yeah. Oh, okay. So which part is the medical? I don't know but this is not medical this will be our chairman maybe later if we do another interview i will come as medical <laughs> yeah. so today i'm interviewing el chamano yeah and then it's it's good because el chamano is a very expensive brand mm. you, you normally mm. shouldn't get it for free you understand mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. yeah i'm here because you're a legend and then um, mm-hmm. um i've been wanting to come here for a very long time you mm, get me thank so you that's thank i said you. i thank you so much for giving me this mm, opportunity i appreciate platform. your coming as well yeah but now i've been enjoying your lyrics um mm. your wordplay your style mm. is it out of growth or you are learning hard um i think i don't know if you talk say it be growth learning hard working hard it be god you understand because a lot of people are growing they are working hard they are getting money to put on the music industry whatever whatever and it's still not working for them you get mm-hmm. me so mm-hmm. but 
what happens to Elche Manu? Anything I put my voice on is a blessing. Boom, it's out everywhere. Mm-hmm. And then it's God engineering. I mm-hmm. don't get some technical team way. Then they go rounds. They put CDs on rotation, whatever. DJs, I mean, just show me love. You get me? And all be all be God. You understand? Mm-hmm. Yeah, like my boss way they sit down there right there. They play my song a lot. They gotta play my song a lot, and I know that for sure. And then you know, be say I meet them, give them money, say say make you play my song self before. I never even you never like uh, change numbers or that, but he shows me love, and that be God. You understand? So that's all I can say. God is doing the things right. I'm just working. Okay. What do you consider before you feature on someone else's song? Um, it depends. It depends on my mood. Sometimes it be the mood. Sometimes if I like the song, I just jump on it. Mm. Because for the past days, I think we've interviewed some ladies here that medical featured on their song. So I was even asking them, why did you guys wait till medical got married before everyone is running to him for feature? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Maybe maybe Ultraman is special. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah no they, yeah. they all they all say it. i think jamila was here yeah jamila shout to jamila yeah and another lady too whose name i've forgotten okay uh, no 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 um some german german lady be oh some hot girl be she has some serious oh movie. kim yeah yeah kim. Yeah. Yeah, kim. yeah she's dope kim. as well yeah yeah, yeah, she's yeah, dope. yeah yeah they all came here and said ah why did you guys wait till the el chamado got married before now everybody is running to him so is it so expensive to mm. feature medical or some of them you do on charity basis sometimes it depends on my team sometimes i don't get to make the decision that's why i said i'm not the boss like of my my, my sector or my circle mm-hmm. flow delhi can make decisions kwami zin can make decisions dj mike smith can make decisions mm-hmm. everybody go to make decisions mm-hmm. so sometimes do they feel like i shouldn't be on it when mm-hmm. they talk i can't do nothing about it because i need to respect what they are talking about you get me mm-hmm. yeah. but, but what would be the biggest consideration as in how much is involved or the quality of the song mostly it's not even about the money if i don't like the song i don't care if they give me a hundred thousand dollars i know we'll jump on them mm-hmm. if i don't like it it depends on the mood and it depends on what the team will say mm, mm. Mm, i see mm. now let's come back to the journey documentary mm. is it ready now um it's ready but i'm yet to fix in some more scenes then we drop it we're supposed to you know we're supposed to um show um uh, where it's going so far i'm at dinner tonight but we, it got cancelled because the president said we can't do mm, social mm, gathering mm, and that mm, so mm, obviously mm. we rescheduled it but it's going to come out soon mm. so what is the real concept what is really going to be part of the journey documentary so the journey is about my life it's about what we do every day where we go how things work in a camp i mean some of the fans really love to see all of that so i felt like i should do something like that it's not always that i need to do music videos and drop music videos and that obviously sometimes i need to keep them something else something very exciting as well mm. and the journey is actually Really very exciting mm. i mean it's the regular things maybe like it'd be the same regular things where people they see but it'd be different it's been more like intimate you get me yeah mm-hmm. so the journey is not going to be like acting it's going to be real like the real no, medical no, life. no you don't be acting at all it'd be it'd be real i did talk about how far god has mm-hmm. brought mm-hmm. the whole um the whole brand and then the whole medical el chemano amg beyond control mm-hmm. i see yeah. is medical still an ambassador for the pinaman cosmetics yeah for how many years do you have to do um we signed for one year mm-hmm. yeah. because i know some months later some months passed mm. so many issues came up mm. uh here and there some were even saying that some of the uh, figures uh, came out were not correct mm. and uh they were doing it to let medical and the wife look good and all that mm. how do you respond to some of these things see brass i mean god has blessed me so much that sometimes i need to hide when i'm outside you get me that'd be how bad it be mm-hmm. so i know go go chase something we go make somebody advertise me mm-hmm. for nothing i mean you are a very clever person when you see news like that obviously i know that the um the normal people where they don't really know the show base go believe some things they see on the news but come on i know go feed just advertise something for free so you should know that i got paid i got some fat check for what i was doing and i'm still working with pinaman cosmetics cosmetics and it's a good brand actually um i think some of the influencers got problems with the owner of the brand and then they brought some mis happenings here and there but yeah very cool <clears throat> apart from pinaman cosmetics mm. um are there other products you are an ambassador to so last week i just signed a new deal with pizza man Mm. um this they sell food they sell pe- like all types of food they do pizza they do fried rice um noodles they have um they, are, they have branches in kumasi they are yet to open branches in accra as well mm. yeah i mean um we are working 
we work okay stuff. so still on brand medical mm. some people think medical is not a fashionista sometimes mm. i see them coming at you here and there mm. w- what is the thing that they are not getting with you and how you appear you see maybe somebody go like go boutique then see some nike maybe the nike be 150 cities go buy them buy some jeans 40 cities then buy some hats it may be at 80 cities but me if, when I, I buy most of my stuff when i travel like when i go abroad i walk into the gucci gucci shop so i might buy some gucci maybe rack like maybe thousand dollar that'd be like 6k so maybe i go wear some normal top and down then put a gucci rag on my neck you might think that i don't know how to dress but i'm wearing your rent probably you understand so i don't blame people because i think ignorance is bliss you can't do nothing about it mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. so when you hear some of this you know, when you see them posting some of this online mm. um does it make you think okay should i employ a stylist or something oh there be me here stylist the air person forget it <laughs> forget it my closest roommate see there there nobody they sleep there my shoes they chill I oh, see. I'm here, I'm here, so back and forth you know, mm-hmm. yeah. mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. it is ignorance on their part not knowing how expensive you look i know i'm more, more like i feel good wearing what i'm wearing that's it i see yeah. now let's come home i know you are now a married man mm. um just as i am so we have some things in common mm. what is your greatest fear in marriage um i never want to lose my wife what's it as in lose her to death or out of the marriage to anything i want it to be like this for life mm. yeah that's mm. that's all i can say mm. i yeah. see so what, what do you do to prevent that from happening um we have sex a lot we have a lot of conversations we make plans together we uh, we do businesses together we buy a lot of properties <laughs> last week we just bought we just bought some new um new stuff at, um east legon hills crazy <laughs> we're working mm. So who is the sex addict? You or Fela? Both. She, she likes it and you also like it. I love it. She loves it. That's it. I see. Yeah. How many children do you intend to have? Um maybe twenty. I want a lot of children. I used to think that I should just get one boy, one girl, but four of them I was like, now nah, why don't I create a whole football team, a whole army? Because so that this one will take care of me, this one will watch me, this one will buy me, this, this one will So I tell my wife, say, yo, we, we, we anytime we go pregnant, we go born, we go born. No family planning. I see. Mm. So now that island is about some four months or six months old, mm-hmm. is the next one on the way or year two? Um, you're sure you be on your same that's all i can say i see now your baby's name island mm. i know it became a hot topic for discussion in ghana like in school those who studied geography when you say island we know what we picture but mm. now it is a name of a young girl a little baby mm-hmm. why island um island because she's special i feel like um she's a very special child she's isolated from a lot of things that breeds in evil and then distractions and demarcations and whatever and um i feel like island is just special i love the name island actually and then i named an ep um um after her as mm, well because mm, i mm. wanted to dedicate it to her so island frame porn is basically um she's chilling at home right now mm. yeah okay fella was a girlfriend and now a wife mm. would you still be taking her to musical platforms or stages uh, dance with her sometimes you press her ass on stage would you still be doing that now that's just a wife oh you just made me know that i can so i can cast on the radio we can swear uh it's more not deep. <laughs> <laughs> i mean yeah of course we we have fun so yeah we're still chilling we, nothing changed ever since we got married actually things are mm-hmm. still the same i mean even better but yeah we're still gonna do the same things that we used to do whatever we used to do we're still gonna st- keep doing it mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and and do, do you select which show she follows you to to perform on the stage no you, you know we actually don't plan that sometimes it just happens baby i go this show oh then we could go okay then we could go that's it you mm-hmm. know the plan mm-hmm. but you know if you pay her mm-hmm. you know if you pay her yeah but the other day she said that sometimes she also agrees with you and you guys charge for appearance for her as well yeah that's when the people want fella mccaffrey to come with medical that's different Mm-hmm. But if I'm going to help my fan, maybe let's say I'm going to the Blacks Club, I'm going to chill. Sometimes she decides to come along with me and then mm. we just go off and that's it. Mm. Now, mm. as big brands like you, I know sometimes wives are uncomfortable when ladies are all around you. Is Fela sometimes um, showing some of these signs? 
like what like jealousy uh maybe you, she's seen you with another lady here and uh, babe what's up why are you there uh, that kind of vibe i mean if your girlfriend or wife no be jealous she know they love you that's all i can say mm, so yeah. it's obvious that she has been jealous sometimes of course that, that, but does it affect business also sometimes because i know when it becomes too much now even when you have to go do business you are thinking about what your wife will say no it doesn't affect business yeah mm, mm. Mm. she knows when to come in and when not to come in yes please are you still a friend to sister debbie um i mean i i know i don't get any enemy that's all i can say i don't have any problems with no one and all mm -hmm. but yeah she's doing a thing and i'm also in my lane right now but no conversation or still you guys have a conversation sometimes no please no conversation mm -hmm. at all wow <laughs> el chemano is with me in the studio and i know it has been a great vibe now el chemano let's talk about industry not long ago okra kumante's name has come up as uh deputy minister designate for our creative art industry Mm -hmm. um so many people have come up with their positions what they think about him uh, not long ago um Shatawale, for instance went hard and wild on him what is your position on okreku as our deputy minister for tourism and arts um i mean i don't know much about that but if he is i i, I really hope he ensures that our music and our creative art industry emerge he gave me gets better and better mm. that's all i can but say do, do you know much about him maybe what he's been able to achieve for him to get that position that controls what you do for survivor um obviously i've seen that he he, he does touch some angles i've seen a couple of articles and stuff but i don't really really know much about him mm. yeah but mm. whatever he's doing the position he has he has been given make him make sure say a goofy sport there for we then make things get better that'll be all i go fit up nice one